ask ourselves which camp we're in. Are we in the confused camp that are unsure? And uh, perhaps there are people that are here and I study and you're here all the way to this lesson and you're still not sure. Well, what Jesus says to you here in John chapter 7 is to believe. To believe. That's your next step. To go from confused to belief. And as you believe, you're going to notice that the scales of your eyes will be fallen off and you will begin to see Jesus for who he really was. You'll be able to see the world for what it really is. You will find meaning and purpose to come into your life. Your life isn't going to become easy, but you're going to have God to go through it with you. And what a great thing. So if you're confused, believe. If you're critically certain like the Pharisees, like the leaders of the day were back in John chapter 7, I want to ask you to research, to study through the Gospel of John, to read through the Word of God, to inquire of what it says. Is it true? To not just believe what other people have told you, but to find out for yourself. There have been many critics who have gone to look at the historicity of Jesus, to see if there's veracity to the scripture, and have come to become some of the greatest followers of Jesus that have ever walked the planet. One of them was the Apostle Paul. So I invite you to research and look into it. Now you may be a believer like me. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that within believing in Him, that the Spirit of God lives within me and changes me daily. I believe that. And so what I want to do with you is I want to join those pilgrims who were there at the Feast of Tabernacles and believed in their heart that God had provided for them. And as they saw that golden flagoon come into the temple, as they saw it enter through the water gate, as they heard the shofar blow the three times, as they heard the choir sing the beautiful words of the Hillel, I want to join with them in repeating what they said when they said, Give thanks to the Lord. And what I